wait. Just, just wait before you skip all the video and try to find how to summon a evil wisdom. Just, just wait and listen to me for one second, guys. I mean, it's cool if you just want to fool around with the Witherstorm, but this mod is pretty cool. Give the creator some credit. Just show him some support. At least see what he has in his mods. I mean, if you decide to play with his mod, some features you're going to see are going to be pretty useful. So I do recommend you to watch the whole entire thing before going to just searching for the evil Witherstorm. So... Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I can't make you do anything, so if you don't really want to, I can't stop you. Well, that's my suggestion. Sup, everybody. It is... Yo boy, boom, 337, and today we are doing another update on the Ingenier mod. Yeah, I know, it's been a long time since we did one, and this one is a simple update, it's not like, this update happened been out a long time ago, I just didn't do it, I don't know why, but here, we are gonna do the update, and we're also here with the creator, say hi. Hello YouTube, welcome to our our new update on the Engender mod. This one is the update should be downloadable tonight actually on the making of this video. And keep in mind this video is being made on October 20, 22nd of 2017. Wait, okay, and, and yeah. So this update is basically going to be about the tools and utensils that is added to the mod. We and then have st this is okay. the first part yeah. about the tools and about the tools and the blocks. They're basically, the things that will that will be here to, that will are used to as for utility purposes. Ignore the command blocks and the structure blocks and the barrier. Those are vanilla Minecraft. I just put them in there for convenience sake. Hmm. Well, but there well, are we tools. Have <laughs> well, we have staffs to blocks to stars. So yeah, here we have first the guard block, which looks like this. The way you craft it is you put an iron sword in the middle, some iron bars at the side, and then redstone torches in the corners, and you get this. So what basically this does is your engineer mods will to okay. to explain about this guard about the guard block. It was an answer to the question, why can't I make my mods stay in one place? I answered it with, oh well, now you can make this thing. It's essentially a a uh, a station a guard post, and uh, yeah. Can, so you uh, may want to demonstrate it, it in an effect by summoning something. I don't know, a villager or a zombie. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go get a internal mob. Uh, that zombie will be fine. As you can see here, this zombie is my engineer mob, and he will guard this place. He won't You'll really follow me, but he'll. Now, in order to tell that he will act, that he's... now in order to tell that he's actually going to start guarding guarding the guard block is first of all, you'll hear a little explosion sound, and then he'll walk towards it. And you're going to want to stay near the guard block until uh, until that happens. Yeah, but that happened. Like I heard an explosion, and then he went near it. Yes, yeah, now, now he he's going between. Here. So, no matter how far away you move away from him, uh, he will stay around the guard block and guard the area. Yeah, and now so he's that's... just running around like a maniac. Whoops, it's a way of time. making them quote unquote sick. Well, to be honest, I'm sorry, Mr. Zombie, but because <laughs> we're gonna show the staff, you're gonna have to burn. I'm sorry. Seriously though, the animation for this is actually really great. He has a animation where he where he plays when he's ah! being burnt. I yeah. Am burning to death. I'm gonna destroy this. So the next item is called a converting staff. 
this is fear fairly easy to, is a torch two okay. pieces of sticks and that's it it's easy to just craft. like this yes those things you can even get from the bonus chest yeah because like literally if you don't have this you can die really quickly like the gender world is evil like legit evil here's a little clip that shows you what happened to me well see that guys this this, this world is evil this world is cruel okay so, and you'll need this staff to save your butt Right. Yes. Uh, converting staff. Now some. Now it's easy to craft, but some people may not know how to use it properly, and uh, you may want to make you uh, may okay. boom demonstrate. Yeah, it. I got a there zombie. Are there are spawn eggs for wild and gender mobs, so you can uh, you can use that spawn. You can use the spawn egg for say a pig. A pig. A type pig. Type and pig. Pig, and there will be two spawn eggs. The second one will be the in gender mob. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. So, how you use it is you aim at the mob that you want to convert. You hold I, it nope. back. Nope. You, you don't give it to him. That's not what you. Oh. Uh, uh, whoops. Now he's naked. Um. He's he's burning to death. I'll I'll end this one for now. Uh, I know, right? Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna stay away. <laughs> and so you right click on him and zombies while starting convert conversion. I believe you have to wait for a while, right? Uh, what? Yeah, do you have really? to wait? Uh, no. That is why- that is where people go wrong. You do not wait. The way that the converting staff works is that you continuously hold right back- right click until- until the mob sh converts to your side. For some mobs it takes longer, but for a pig it shouldn't take too many. Uh, oh, so you have many. to keep on doing it. And yeah. now he's naked again. Now you get- yeah, you gotta keep on, uh, holding back- holding right click click at the bow. And don't release it, just keep on holding it, it releases itself. Okay, he's burning to death. Seriously, Man. this is so annoying, it's so hard to convert a mob, dude. <laughs> oh my you gotta god. hold it back! And don't, let the, and don't let mobs walk in front of you, too. That's what I'm doing, but then it just keeps on owning. Okay, oh, there we go, it worked. He's been converted. Also, I think. remember, also a reminder, it's an area of effect, it's an area of effect, uh, hold back, right, hold back. Means you don't have to technically look at them, they kind of have to be within uh, 32 blocks of them. Okay, yeah, this, <laughs> this is really messed up. I'm sorry, zombie, you have to, um, ah, crap. But, uh, this will work on anything, except for boss, except for, except for, uh, except for, uh, Anything that's considered tier six, or the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon auto chooses its uh, the nearest player. Now seriously, there's stabs everywhere. Okay, so this is my zombie now, and I, yeah, they're attacking each other. Look at that, they have reach hacks apparently. No, they have the same reach as a player. Yeah. Damn it! I just want to kill you. Come on, come on, cooperate with me. Stop running. I'm sorry, zombie, but you got to just, give him, just, a just die. give him a leather cap. All right. No, no, no. I, I burn him to death because it's too annoying to keep him around, and I need to show the other staff if you know what I mean. Now we are moving on to the third staff, which is. A summoning staff, it, ca uh, it calls nearby mobs, both belonging to you and the wild, toward you to your aid. Right? Yeah. In case you don't know, in case you don't know what that means, it means that you hold back right click until until the action occurs. With all these stats, it's a hold back right click action. But with this one, you hold it back, and then everything, and then every uh, engender mob that is both wild and or and or belonging to you gets gets summoned to your position. Uh, within two hundred from within two, from within two hundred fifty six blocks, and uh, wild mobs are auto converted. But it doesn't okay. do it to bot. But it doesn't do it to walk to uh, to tears. It doesn't uh, do it to tears. Oh my God! Whoa! Okay, that was quick, and that one's.
burning like it has a lollipop in his hand. Well, I'm gonna end this quickly by putting down a lot of uh, evil mobs and watch them fight. So, in your engender mobs are actually really strong. They're, they're oh god, zombie tried to swim in lava to escape zombie. Okay, my zombies are dying. That's a good thing, I guess, since it's hard to kill them. They are pretty strong. They're, they're, they're resilient, but they are. They're and this one's just burning. Their main uh, strength is in, their main strength is uh, is in Gender Mob's ability to regenerate lost, lost health. To build the emerald staff, all you need is one emerald and two pieces of iron down the center, just like that. Now we have a bunch of leftover mobs like these, which is perfect to demonstrate the next wand called the portal. I mean, no, not the portal. The commanding staff, which you need to craft using a diamond block. Okay, guys, you're blocking it. A diamond block and two diamonds down the center. The crafting recipes for these are actually fairly simple, so what you do with this one is it can cause nearby enemy mobs to choose a different side. So can good mobs turn bad mobs too? Or only bad yeah, mobs that, turn good uh, mobs? What the, chain, the chain of effect for, for that staff is uh, enemy, enemy owned mobs uh, become wild and wild mobs become your mobs. Oh, okay. And it doesn't affect uh, uh, claim of mobs. The staff is the staff does not cannot do this to tier fives or above or or boss mobs. So uh, you can't like turn your enemies wither against him. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use it now, and I it's, believe they are going to turn to mine. This this one is best. Used and they're dancing for some reason. This is a really weird dance. Why did you make this dance? It looks so weird. They're just bobbing their heads around. I'm gonna make their strings go up by shifting. Look at that. Their heads are like just. What? Dude, what is this dance move? I have no idea. I I'm pretty sure that they're. I'm pretty sure that just that's just because they're nauseated. Is this like a um a, a, a victory dance? Because it looks as weird as hell. Their heads are twisting abnormally. It's like their neck is, are broken. Neck, neck, necks, neck, neck. I, I can't, I can't talk. Go villager. Well, well, they're they're just twisting their heads around. It Go looks villager. really disturbing. Well, <laughs> we're gonna move on to a next one staff slash wand is called the portal staff this one's actually really op spawns a portal that attracts free mobs into your army so yes and then the... is that yeah. there we go and the animation looks really cool upon using the portal staff it will disappear but it spawns a portal to gain to regain your portal staff you simply have to right click on the portal and it'll drop and it'll drop the staff back. Oh my god, but, the particles are killing me. Lol. Oh, of course they are. Uh, the portal is, he is particle heavy intense. It's particle intense. Okay, so here's another uh, portal. So now, that, now the portal is considered, is, uh, considered a ghost tier 6. It doesn't technically have a tier because it's not even really a summonable mob in the normal sense. But for the sake of the, but for the sake, but for coding's sake, it's just six to prevent it from being uh, converted or, or uh, commanded or summoned. And it doesn't move. It can't, it can't follow you. It's a stationary. But it's a very powerful one. It's got thousands of. Them. Oh my God! The lightning! Holy crap! I'm gonna turn the sound down uh, a little bit. It's, got a, it's also an ear raping uh, machine. Yeah. So. It only attracts mobs to you, and if there's no mobs, no wild mobs nearby, does it still spawn nah, them? Oh, it does! A creeper just appeared. The thing about the portal is that it causes mobs that, uh, other than uh, the Ender Dragon and the Wither Storm and po other portals who basically just spontaneously uh, come through. Like they, like they spawn on top of the portal because they're because they're coming from somewhere. It can even on rare occasions spawn a wither. 
Well, this zombie's helmet broke and is now burnt. Okay, their helmets are all breaking. Rip. Well, well plenty of ways to paint leather. Okay. Yeah, so let's talk about its lightning. So it does armor piercing damage, right? Yes, it does 20. So just pierce your armor no matter what, I guess. Well, armor oh can, god. Armor, armor with protection can protect you, but armor without any protection is just ignored. Ooh, we got a charged creeper, dude. That's nice. And our, all our zombies are on fire. Well, I'm gonna despawn but, uh, this portal hey, for now. Just right click it with an empty hand, and you'll get yeah, the staff. Yeah, I got and it. You'll even get you'll even get the staff back once it disappears. Yeah, I got it. And all my zombies are running on, as they are on fire. And this this is actually pretty annoying. No, uh, they're just I, like uh, screaming. The statistics of the portal, it has it has a thousand health, by the way, a thousand. Oh, oh my Just, god, that's a lot. It also has 24 armor points, so that, so it's very so it's heavily armored. I mean, it has a bedrock room for crying out loud. Okay, so next up, this is actually really cool and is actually really cheap. It's called the Star of Valor. All you need is some glowstone and the glowstone I mean, dust, which is really easy to get if you're in I the mean, nether. I may in the future yeah. make this more expensive. Like I may, oh. I may, I may make it. I may make it uh, so that you so that uh, the center part requires another star, but I don't know about that. Uh. But okay. yeah, or maybe, okay, this... or maybe I'll just make it so you need so you need uh, to craft uh, individual pieces first using more than more than just four glowstone, four glowstone dust and a glowstone. Yeah, that but is, this is uh, actually really cheap and it, it works right now, really cheap. well. Yes, it uh, works really so well. Upon right clicking any mob that is in the wither storm or portal, uh, it turns into a hero. And depending and depending on what type of mob it is, it gains special abilities. It also gains okay. ridi ridiculous damage boost against uh, against monsters, uh, and so like triple the damage against something like a blade, like a regular blade, or or a uh, or. A... <laughs> elder guardian or a reg or a regular elder guardian or regular wither. It does not do bonus damage to uh animals or anything um. that isn't or anything that isn't a mob well a hostile mob or neutral mob oh my god they also have they also what did you effect. do oh my god the creeper the charged creeper hero is so freaking destructive <laughs> Yes, it blew uh, up everything. It blew, like it blew up the things I had prepared. <laughs> everything too, is gone. There are too many. There are too many hero hero mob special attacks to do in this one video, uh, as that'll probably yeah. constitute its own video when we do the when we cover all the mobs, since they've changed quite a bit since the last time. Oh we my did god! This, including including the addition of of new ones. This creeper is insane, bro. It also strikes me. It, it also, um. You can also right click the, the creeper to no charge. No creeper it, it is in charge. <gasps> they killed the okay. creeper. No, die. Who killed the creeper? Dude, the zombie with dual wheels killed the creeper. Wow. Whoa. Well, like, th that was only two explosions, and you guys can see how destructive that was. And if the bedrock isn't here, like, it will just destroy everything. I, I, I believe that it's gonna go down, like, pretty deep. So, um, it's better to turn mob griefing off, I guess. With this mod on, you may want to turn off mob griefing. <laughs> yeah, this mod is destructive. If you don't like destructions, um, I don't think this is the mod for you then. Well, we're, <laughs> we're uh, quite literally only scratching the surface as to what kind of destruction is here, but this is just the items. This is not the, this is not the mods or the bosses that you can have. I know. Allies. This is. And, this, and yes, I said wow. that aptly. You can have bosses as your allies. Yeah, like legit. Well, t now talking ab about bosses, a well-known feature of this mod is the Wither Storm. And oh my God, the iron blocks being blown up by the creeper just looks like his um, iron golem ready. Wow. Well, anyways, um. Uh, 
there's also uh, uh, two. There's also two other two last items you can that we need to do before we leave this. Oh. And the next uh, time, and, and uh, but after that, we the next review we will do will be on the mobs and also the basics on on being an, on playing in an engender world. Yeah. And how to fuse mob, because you may have noticed in the creative in the engender my creative tab, there's like a lot of these things called fusion parts. Yeah, there's there are a lot and. God, it's so gonna be impossible to remember all of these freaking like crafting recipes. Eh, eh, don't worry. You can just tell them that the crafting recipes are on the forum. Yeah, because but then you have to keep on switching back and forth. Well, so what are the other two items that we need to reveal? That reveal. would be the morality horn, otherwise, otherwise known as just the horn, and the dragon horn. Wait, I think we reviewed the reveal. Yeah. Reviewed this like the first time we had we reviewed the mod, but um, well, 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 let's well let's keep well let's keep consistency and keep well, let's keep consistency with the review and and uh, keep up with the items part. These are these are items that are not fusion parts. So first the horn. Okay, the horn. Also, so, so also I some people also the other reason is some people can't figure out how to use these how to use these items. And that you need to do, you hold the hold, yeah, hold yeah. right click. Okay, okay, we get it. So what I believe the horn uh, makes your mob stronger and makes a lot of nearby mobs hear you and they will just come for you to kill you, I guess. The, so uh, here we have two horn, zombies. Morally horn raises the morality of nearby uh, ally mo allied monsters. Yeah. So for all of these items, you have to keep on right clicking until something happens. Here I go. Oh no, my god, hold, why does it make hold, my face go it. up? Hold yeah, I, I held it. It gave me strength and, uh, and speed, so the mobs also get that, right? Uh, yes, your ally, your allied mobs gain, uh, gain, uh, well, they gain a speed and strength boost while, while, in, while in morale state. Another way, by the way, to gain, to give them morality is to just punch them a lot. Just repeatedly slap your mob around, it'll actually uh, gain morality from that. <laughs> Why? What the hell? That's so weird. But, okay then. So for this one, the dragon horn, yeah, which is basically, is, basically summons it's a your dupli dragon. It's a duplicate of the, uh, the morality horn, with the exception of the fact that it attracts... With the notable exception that it attracts every hostile mob within 128 blocks to attack you. And it makes your Ender Dragon automatically perch on, perch, come towards you. So no matter well, where it is, sorry. it'll fly towards you. Guys, I'm sorry that I don't have the crafting recipe for these two right now, but you can check it on the forms. Yeah. Everything oh. will be there. Like, I, I wasn't expecting my to reveal portal, these two my items. My so portal, my portal in my world summoned an Iron Golem. A very rare. Okay, so. Golem. Here we go. We're, okay, there's my under dragon, as you can see, and he is really destructive. And there's XP balls everywhere. Yeah, he's right now perching on top of me, even though he doesn't seem like he is. But he is really destructive, and he flies away. When he flies away, you can just use his horn, and then he will c come right back to you. Yes. Yes. He oh my God, he is so freaking destructive. Holy crap, he made this hole in like two seconds. I'm scared well, of this thing, dude. Well, it's an ender dragon, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you might want... Yeah, you might want to turn mob griefing uh, off. And, oh yes, I like all these experience orbs. It makes me sparkle. Sprinkle, sparkle, whatever. Okay, I, I feel like I'm being weird. Anyways, can we, So, um, can we move on to the thing that everyone's waiting for now well unfortunately that it can that consists of that consists of its own part this was the items and the blocks but the Bruh. Next, but <laughs> it's just a quick command no it won't hurt anyone okay so oh. we are actually okay. showing <laughs> is that what you thought wow so we are actually show so from the last video a lot of people are complaining like, oh my god, the wither storm is not even evil. Uh, make it evil. And then a lot of complaints like that. Actually, you can make it evil by simply typing a command. 
The command will be in the description. And will you put it on the forms? Why should Are you going I do that? It's so simple. I mean, not everyone knows how to code it like like you, okay? It's a command, so, not code. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Summon Age of Minecraft, uh, whatever this mark is. Wither, Storm, Boss, Help. Why, is, why does it say helpful? I wanted an evil one. It'll summon, Bruh. It'll summon, it'll summon a, a, nasty, a nasty one. It's gonna, trust me, it's gonna eat everybody. Oh my god, it is evil. Holy crap, holy. My ender dragons, it's, uh. The ender dragon. Oh, my ender dragon killed a test tentacle. My ender dragon killed a ten Oh my god. What is happening? Yeah, this thing is definitely evil since my ender dragon is attacking it, as you can see. And it's flying away. The wither storm head have been slain by ender dragon. Everything is just being slain. And my FPS is going down by a lot. Um, uh, uh, um, video said, uh, it's already pretty low. And oh my god, so that is, guys, that, that is how you spawn an evil one. Now you, now you know. I hope that will make you happy, but it's not easy to kill this thing. As you can see here, my dragon's not doing anything. Like, legit anything at all to the evil wither storm. One. Definitely and is about to die. Let me turn the music, I mean, sound down a little bit more to 1%. Holy crap, my this mobs, looks my amazing. Mobs my mobs are running. In, my mobs are running. Into yeah, the we're not talking about your mobs right now, so please focus. <laughs> uh, the Ender Dragon's about to die. And I'm gonna show you guys how devastating this thing is going to be by making myself into survival. Am I? And it's coming down. Game mode zero. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh no, my zombie. Don't eat it, please. Oh, my He's zombie came it. back. Oh, it just teleported back to me. I know. Holy crap. Uh, oh. Making your mob into a hero is another. It has another good effect in the fact that the Wither Storm cannot, va cannot vacuum them up. But it does send bombs down. It's still, it's, it's still throw, it still throw, throws shade towards them, yes. Yeah, it's not re-killing me right- Oh, never mind, I just died. <laughs> just that I said that, he threw some skulls at my face, and I just- He instantly blew up, and- Oh my god. Yeah, you don't want this in your world, guys. This is too devastating. The, all you want to do what? is- Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. Run Jesus for your Christ. life. <laughs> for your life. Jesus Christ, that is freaky. Oh my, oh my god, he's god. actually chasing me right now. Oh, and I believe him. But he's not looking at me for some reason. Cat. He's not looking at me, but he is definitely chasing me, trying to kill me. Alright, everyone be midget. Huh. And he just flew somewhere. I, I can't see him now. And I believe that's heading toward me. And I'm, I'm gonna die now. Yeah, this is how strong it is. If you want to kill, you need the Eraser command and a bunch of other uh, things, yes. I believe. Yes. You will need to enchant your sword ah. with the Eraser command, which is a replica of, um, of uh, Ivor's command block enchantment. From, uh, I'm, I'm, just, sword mode. I'm just dying it'll, right it'll, now. Uh, it'll uh, make the sword heal an extra 10,000. This Damn. is too laggy. And I died again. Boom, through the through someone blown by Witherhead. With the storm head, oh my god, there's fire everywhere at my spawn, and I instantly get with the wither storm effect. It's so laggy, I'm not even getting the wither storm effect, and I died again. Yeah, think about it before you actually spawn this in. Anyway, the the command is going to be down in the description if you really want to try this out yourself and get killed over and over and over and over and over and over again, like what's happening to me right now, and. Incoming bomb. I'm dead. So yeah, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely detonate that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And leave a comment if you feel like it. Check out the creator, Gabriel Nyman. His forms. Own, Check I out this. I have my own uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you don't even post anything up there. But yeah, check out the mod if you like it. And... Oh my god, his tentacles are like swaying. 
it's just teleporting the, his tentacles. Or I think I'm just too laggy, I don't know. But those yeah, this looks really those, weird. Those tentacles are gigantic. I know. This is really weird, and he's flo flying down on me. I'm gonna run now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make make a run out of it. So yeah, guys. His, make a run for it. Run away! His links are gonna be down in the description. The mod download link is also gonna be in the description. And the command is also going to be down in the description. So yeah, guys, that's going to be about it. And I guess I'll see you guys next time in another epic gaming video. Bye, guys. Hugs. See you later.